Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.10 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the gain P0 over Vs in the circuit in figure 5.49. Okay, let's do what can we do from here. Let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. So here we have our ground here and the voltage in the ground will be assumed to be 0. That's the default one. Okay, now what can we do from here? Let's name this node here as node PA. And then this node here is the node P0 because there is P0 from the ground, right? Okay. And because this is an op amp, remember that the properties of op amp, the voltage in each terminal is the same. So if we have op amp like this, the voltage in this node and in this node will be the same. So here VA is equal to VB. And that is the first properties of OM that we can use. Okay, that means that this node here is also VA, right? And this node here is VS from the ground. Okay. And then what else can we do? We have another op amp properties. If we name the current that goes into the op amp here as IA, and this current here that goes into the op amp as IB, IA is equal to IB. But then that also equal to zero. This is the properties of ideal of M. So this is the properties of ideal of M. Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. Uh, maybe let's do it like this. So this is going down, this is going down, and this we know that the current that goes into the of M will be zero. So let's assume that that is goes into the of and then this one here, we know also the current that goes into the op amp is equal to zero. So the current here is zero ampere, and the current here is also zero ampere. Okay, but then we can do K KCL at node A. Let's do exactly that. Let's do KCL at PA. KCL at PA. And KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. And there is only one current that goes in, which is this one. And that current is V0 minus VA. V0 minus VA. Let's use red here. V0. P0 minus VA divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. So I will have 10 there. And then that will equal to the current that goes out. Here we have the 0 because it goes into the op amp. So I will have 0 here. And then plus we will have this current here that will be VA minus 0 divided by okay and what can we do from here we can multiply both sides by 10 to get rid of the denominator so we will have v0 minus va and then that will equal to 0 multiplied by 10 that will be 0 but i don't need to write it and 10 multiplied by 10 is 10 and va minus 0 is just va okay so we will have V0 is equal to 2VA. Okay, I think there is nothing that we can do from this node here. So we will have, we will save this as equation number. Okay. And now let's name this current here as maybe IB. So we will have from IB. Remember that IB is goes 
into the of n. So that will be equal to zero. However, IB is also Vs minus Va divided by 20. So we will have Vs minus Va divided by 20. That will equal to IB. Okay, let's plug in that IB is 0. So we will have Vs minus Va divided by 20 is equal to 0. And so we will have Vs minus Va is equal to 0. And therefore, Vs is equal to Va. And maybe let's save this as equation number 2. And now we can do substitution, right? Substitute uh, 2 to 1. Let's do that. Substitute the equation number 2 into equation 1. Okay, equation number 2 is Vs is equal to R. And equation number 1 is V0. V0 is equal to 2VA. Right? However, VA is equal to Vs. So we will have V0 is equal to 2Vs. And the question is asking us about V0 over Vs. So we can do exactly that. Let's divide both sides by Vs. So we will have V0 over Vs is equal to 2. And that is the final answer of this question, which is the gain of the circuit, which is 2. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.